Smithy, draw today here at Basingstoke against Cheltenham. Was that a fair result? Yeah, I think so. I think it was two teams playing two very different styles um, that sort of cancelled each other out. I think um, we failed to create really many good opportunities, which was frustrating for us. But I think the flip side of that was we dealt with their long balls really well. Um, their up back throughs. I think Tucker and Lucy at the back were absolutely immense today, um, and Chesh and Bertie um, and Ellie as well. All five of them were brilliant, but you know, Lucy and Tucker are brilliant dealing with those long balls. Was it a bit of a sucker punch getting that, um, conceding that goal straight after half time? Yeah, we lost Rachel at half time, which was annoying. We made the change, and obviously Kira with their quality coming on, you know, brilliant. And then it was for me, it was the manner of it. The free kick was weak to give away. Um, if it was a free kick, but you know, give the benefit of the doubt to the ref, um, we shouldn't have made that sort of tackle there. And then it was delivered in the box. Um, and then we've gone to leave it out for a goal kick. And then the players come on the back and got the tap in. So, so you know, we don't give away free kick. It doesn't happen. We mark our player. It doesn't happen. And we clear the box. It doesn't happen. And that goes for everybody, not just individuals. So, as a team, as a unit, you know, demand the box, um, command the box, I should say, and clear it. So yeah, that was frustrating how it happened. And, and I thought it was against the runner play, if I'm honest, after the first half as well. So that was a bit of a sucker punch, but. She, we showed some great determination to come back, you know, and that's, that's been brilliant because a few weeks ago, I was saying in the huddle at the end, a few weeks ago that would not have happened. Um, so yeah, that was pleasing. What happened today? Because you talk about the fact that there wasn't a lot of chances, there wasn't, say, necessarily clear cut, but you had plenty of the ball and were getting near the box. It just wasn't kind of getting in the box and around the goal. What happened? Yeah, and I think, you know, without taking anything away from Cheltenham, I thought they defended brilliantly. Um, the, the tall brunette um, that played left back was outstanding, I think, today. She cleared some last minute balls. Um, she was brilliant playing out. But for me, so I look at it from us, and it was our decision making. So we'd get in the wide areas, we'd have acres to take a touch and deliver the ball in. With the box is, the box is fully loaded. And then our decision to come back and then play right around the back four. And it's frustrating why we're not putting the ball in the box. Put the ball in the box if we've got four or five players in the box. Other than that, when we did get in those final thirds and we did get wide, some of the crosses that we're putting in um, were good crosses, but we weren't getting in front of our players. And the centre-backs were then clearing those balls. So, you know, it was a bit of both, really. We could have been better, but, you know, all fair play to Cheltenham. They defended really well. Do you think in terms of, say, some of the decision-making today, because at times things did look a little bit slow, do you think that comes from the lack of game time that you've had sort of between now and the sort of Christmas break? No, I don't think so. I think the weather played a part because it was boiling out there. I tell from my sunburn. But it was, um, it was so hot out there. But again, like, we, we had a lot of the ball, like you said, and we moved the ball OK, just moved it too slow, which is disappointing because we know how Chatham play, and if you move the ball quickly, then you know you're going to cause some problems. So the fact that we slowed it down and... It was just frustrating that we played so slowly. Or I wouldn't say slowly all the time. Sometimes we've just played negatively. Like we have the ball, like I said, put the ball in the box. Or if you've got the ball and you've got no one in front of you, drive into that space and commit someone else. Don't just play it backwards because it's the safe pass. So there was a bit of that this week, um, which was probably the only disappointing bit about the whole thing for me. Because I think if we play quicker, you know, you're going to find more space in possession. But I think for me, the best bit this week was out of possession. I thought we were brilliant out of possession today against the team at the top of the league. You know, they're fighting for the championship. And we're here and um, I don't think, you know, they look like scoring many goals. And that was really good. Um, they've got some great forwards. Um, May Liggett up front is outstanding. Brilliant player. And Chesh dealt with her really well today. And of course, we got a very late equaliser. It was something like the 92nd minute, um, something like that from Lucy. Quality corner that we've prob we were probably asking for for most of that game and quality finish on the header. Um, must have been pleased that it, eventually that patience paid off. Definitely. And how many games when we've been 1-0 down have we just seen out as a 1-0 and we've not had that fight and that spirit to come back? So to show that today was brilliant. A great fight, great spirit. You know, for me, disappointing that we've had to do that because I think we could have won the game in nine minutes, but we didn't. And you know, Cheltenham defended really well when they went one up, and it was hard. But it just shows, doesn't it, that quality ball in the box, great run by Lucy, great header by Lucy. Um, yeah, after you know, struggling this heat, struggling getting kicked, and she's done really well then to get that goal. Great delivery by Kira. So yeah, it was pleasing. You know, coming back from one or down. Um, yeah, it was really good. Great battle, you know, great. They showed great fight in that spirit again, which is fantastic to see. 
And where do you take this result now? Because we know that we had, we've, we've got pretty much most of the league to play still. We've got six games remaining now. Is there still that chance of title, or are you just looking at finishing the season strongly? Uh, we, it's out of our hands. Like you know, Exeter need points off of um, Cheltenham. You know, Chesham need points off of both. You know, Bournemouth need people to drop points. Um, we've got to win all our games. It, it could go any either way, and it's definitely the strongest league that we've had, um, definitely since I've been in this division. Um, so I don't want to talk about the championship or the title, like. We'll see who wins it at the end of the season. Like for me, I just need to make sure that you know we're working and we're improving bit by bit. And um, I think we've definitely done that this season. It's just it's like you said a minute ago. Like we haven't played many games, and it's annoying because you want to get on a run. But the games we've played, like Chesham next week, Chesham is such a good team. Whereas Cheltenham are on a run, but they're playing teams maybe that aren't as strong as that. And you can get yourself on a run. You get that confidence together. And when you hit a good team, like they did against Bournemouth, you know they've gone and beaten them. That's the thing, it's, it's getting back on that run and getting back in that mentality of winning games and that habit of winning games and that's what we're going to have to look at doing and you know, from now to the end of the season we've got cup final to look forward to as well so you know, it's, it's all good and we'll just keep going and see what happens.